Hello students, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we ask you some software engineering questions and see how many questions you can answer correctly. So let's see how many people can answer these simple questions. Before starting the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Question 1. What is the primary goal of software engineering? Software engineering ka primary goal kya hai? A. Jaldi se code likhna. B. User friendly interfaces ko build karna. C. High quality software ko develop karna. Ya D. Hardware ko achche se utilize karna. Correct answer is C. Software engineering ka primary goal high quality software ko develop karna hai, jo users ki needs ko satisfy kar sake. Jabki jaldi code likhna aur user friendly interfaces build karna are also important aspects in software engineering, but these goals are secondary. Question 2. What is the role of a bug in software development? Software development mein bug kya hota hai? Correct answer is C. A bug is an issue or defect in the software that causes it to behave unexpectedly or incorrectly. When a bug is discovered, it needs to be reported and fixed by the development team to improve the software's functionality and quality. Question 3. SDLC ki full form kya hai? Correct answer is C. SDLC stands for Software Development Life Cycle. Question 4. What is the first step in the software development life cycle? Software development life cycle ka first step kya hota hai? Design, implementation, testing, ya requirements gathering. Correct answer is D. The first step in the SDLC is gathering and analyzing the requirements for the software project. This phase involves understanding the needs of end users and creating a detailed list of functional and non-functional requirements. Question 5. What is the purpose of version control systems in software development? Software development may version control systems ka purpose kya hai? A. Managing software licenses. B. Tracking changes in the software code. C. Controlling software hardware requirements. Ya. D. Automating software testing. Correct answer is B. Tracking changes in the software code. The purpose of version control systems in software development is to track and manage changes to the source code and its related files. It allows developers to keep a history of revisions, collaborate effectively, and easily roll back to previous states when needed. This ensures that multiple developers can work on the same project simultaneously without conflicts, and it provides a safety net to recover from mistakes or errors in the code. Version control systems enhance team productivity, code quality, and overall software development efficiency. Question 6. What is the role of testing in the software development process? Testing ka kya role hai software development mein? Correct answer is C. To identify and fix bugs in the software. The role of testing in the software development process is to verify that the software functions correctly, meets specified requirements, and identifies and fixes any issues or defects. Question 7. What is the role of documentation in software development? Documentation ka kya role hai software development mein? Correct answer is B. To provide a record of the development process. The role of documentation is to provide clear and comprehensive written information about the software's design, code, functionality, and usage for better understanding and future maintenance. Question 8. Which software development model follows a linear and sequential approach? 
कौन सा सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट मॉडल लिनियर एंड सीक्वेंशियल अप्रोच को फॉलो करता है करेक्ट आंसर इज बी द वॉटरफॉल मॉडल फॉलोज अ लिनियर एंड सीक्वेंशियल अप्रोच इन सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इट प्रोग्रेसिस थ्रू फेजेज लाइक रिक्वायरमेंट्स डिजाइन इंप्लीमेंटेशन टेस्टिंग एंड मेंटेनेंस इन अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड मैनर क्वेश्चन नाइन What is the purpose of unit testing in software development? Unit testing ka kya purpose hai software development mein? Correct answer is D. Unit testing is focused on testing individual units or components of software in isolation. The goal is to verify that each unit works as intended and to identify any defects or errors within those units. Question 10 Which SDLC model is suitable for projects with clearly defined and stable requirements Agar aapki requirements stable hai aur clearly defined hai to kaun sa SDLC model use karna chahiye Agile model incremental model V model ya waterfall model Correct answer is D waterfall model is best suited for projects with well defined and stable requirements it is most effective when the scope and specifications of the software are clear from the beginning and there is little expectation for changes during the development process question 11 what is the primary drawback of the waterfall model waterfall model ka primary drawback kya hai Correct answer is C All the options available here are the drawbacks of waterfall model but the primary drawback is option C waterfall model does not support iteration and changes well Question 12 Which SDLC model is best suited for large and complex projects with a focus on risk management Kaun sa SDLC model best hai for large and complex projects ke liye जहां मेन फोकस रिस्क मैनेजमेंट पर होता है वॉटरफॉल मॉडल अजाइल मॉडल स्पायरल मॉडल इंक्रीमेंटल मॉडल करेक्ट आंसर इज सी स्पायरल मॉडल इज बेस्ट सूटेड फॉर लार्ज एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोजेक्ट्स बिकॉज इट अलाउज फॉर इटरेटिव डेवलपमेंट एंड रिस्क मैनेजमेंट इट इन्वॉल्व मल्टीपल साइकिल ऑफ प्लानिंग रिस्क एनालिसिस डेवेलपमेंट एंड टेस्टिंग which helps in managing risks and accommodating changes more effectively question 13 what is the final phase of sdlc where software is deployed and made available to end users sdlc ka final phase kaun sa hai jaha software ko deployed aur available kiya jata hai end users ko correct answer is c deployment is the final phase of sdlc where the software is released and made available to end users during this phase the software is installed configured and launched for actual use question 14 what happens after the deployment phase in the waterfall model waterfall model mein deployment phase ke baad kya hota hai correct answer is a maintenance phase after the deployment phase the software is released and available to end users the subsequent phase is the maintenance phase where the software is supported bugs are fixed and change requests are addressed to ensure its ongoing functionality and usability question 15 which sdlc model involves breaking down the development process into smaller parts and developing each part individually कौन से एस डी एल सी मॉडल में डिवेलपमेंट प्रोसेस को स्मॉलर पार्ट्स में ब्रेक किया जाता है और ईच पार्ट को इंडिविजुअली डिवेलप किया जाता है वॉटरफॉल मॉडल अजाइल मॉडल इंक्रीमेंटल मॉडल वी मॉडल करेक्ट आंसर इज सी इंक्रीमेंटल मॉडल इन्वॉल्व ब्रेकिंग डाउन द डिवेलपमेंट प्रोसेस इंटू स्मॉलर पार्ट्स कॉल्ड इंक्रीमेंट्स एंड डिवेलपिंग ईच इंक्रीमेंट इंडिविजुअली Each increment represents a portion of the entire software system. 
Increments are added iteratively until the complete software is achieved. Question 16. Which SDLC model is most suitable for small projects with well-defined requirements and limited resources? Konsa SDLC model suitable hai small projects ke liye, jaha requirements well-defined hai and limited resources hai. Correct answer is B. Waterfall model. Question 17. Which SDLC model focuses on a risk-driven approach where risks are identified and addressed throughout the development process? Waterfall model, Agile model, V model, ya spiral model. Correct answer is D. Spiral model. Focuses on a risk-driven approach to software development. Question Athara. What is a pre-release software version provided to a limited audience for testing? Pre-release software version kya hai? Jo limited audience ko testing ke liye provide kiya jata hai. Final release, beta release, alpha release, ya release candidate. Correct answer is B. Beta release is a pre-release version of software that is available to a limited group of users for testing and gathering feedback. It follows the alpha release, which is the initial version of software tested internally by the development team. Beta release's aim is to identify and fix bugs before the final release to the general public. Question 19. What is the primary purpose of code refactoring in software development? Code refactoring ka primary purpose kya hai? A. Adding new features to the software. B. Reducing the size of the code base. C. Improving the performance of the software. Ya D. Improving the code's readability and maintainability. Correct answer is D. Improving the code's readability and maintainability. Code refactoring is the process of restructuring the existing code without changing its external behavior. The primary goal is to enhance the code's readability, maintainability, and scalability. Question 20. What is the correct life cycle order of software development? Software development ki correct life cycle order kya hai? Iska sahi jawab aapko niche comment box mein batana hai. सही जवाब देने वाले को मेरी तरफ से एक लाइक मिलेगा सो थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगा और आप फ्यूचर में ऐसे ही और वीडियोस चाहते हैं तो आप हमारे इस YouTube चैनल स्टडी जीनियस को अभी सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए